Hey sports fans, it is Thursday, September 7th. The time is just after 3 p.m. and the temperature right now apparently is 27 degrees Celsius. I say apparently, it doesn't feel quite that hot. But I'll have to trust my phone that that's what it is. I'm here at the corner of Montgomery Avenue and Young Street in Midtown Toronto. That's a look south down Young Street. And I was hoping to get out and do a live stream this afternoon. But it started raining and there was some thunder. And I got an email from Rogers that my order was ready. So I thought I would record the walk down to the Rogers store to pick things up. And I'll talk a bit about what that is in a moment. And it is something that will help me with the live streams. And this is south down the west side of Young. I think it's only supposed to rain for an hour or so. There's a new place that just opened up on the right called Alouette Go. We've got another location down on Spadina. I had a chicken burger from there the other day and it was quite excellent. think there'll be too many people out on any of the patios or none there's a look at the rose garden <laughs> the rose garden the rose and crowd well, I guess the rose garden is not inaccurate that's what it says on the sign there in front of their patio and pie upstairs and we'll also get a look at how the progress of young Neglington is doing as hopefully the construction work is clearing up About a week and a few days ago I was in Niagara Falls trying to do a live stream and I ran into some troubles with my connection which is through Bell I have a hundred gigabyte plan and before that I used Rogers and before that I had a plan with TELUS those are the main providers in Canada there's also Freedom Mobile, but they're not very good for live streaming. So if you can't tell, I don't really have any loyalty. As soon as a better plan or deal pops up, that's what I switch to. And I was having connection troubles with Bell, and I've had some other problems with live streams with them recently. And I always had a good experience streaming with Rogers. I I'm just not a fan of sending them a large amount of money every month, so when a better deal with Bell popped up, I switched. Then I found a 150 gigabyte deal with Rogers that was $95 a month. And if I got that, it would include a tablet and a tablet plan at no cost. And I would be able to share the data from that tablet plan off of the 150 gigabytes. So my plan is to put that tablet SIM card into my streaming phone and then use the main 150 gigabyte plan on my regular phone and that also includes US and Mexico service with the full data amount so instead of having my $55 a month Freedom Plan and my $105 a month Bell Plan, I'll have one $95 a month Rogers Plan and I'll have more data. 
and now that Rogers works on the subway, I won't really miss my freedom plan so much. And this is Young and Eglinton. And you know what? I haven't been able to walk down this right side of Eglinton, or right side of Young Street, just south of Eglinton for quite a while. That recently just opened up about a month ago. So rather than cross the street here, I'll stick to this side. And for the past month, there were striking Metro supermarket employees in this location that they went back to work earlier this week. my home internet. I had Rogers before that and Tech Savvy before that. Again, I think the key is to show no loyalty and if you get a better deal move. Although one catch is Rogers wanted to charge a $60 per line activation fee. And I basically balked at that. I said thanks, but no thanks, no deal. And of course they waived it. I think 150 gigabytes of 5G data that I'll be able to use on two devices is pretty good. Although one of them will be strictly data only. And just like that, it seems the rain has let up. Yeah, it's not even coming down. There's another entrance to Eglinton Station just here on the right. And by signing up for the premium plan, I also get free tablet, which I have no need for, and that tablet SIM card, which shares off the main plan. Boy, it's a circle jerk. Okay. But I ordered last Friday, and they said should get an email later that night or the next day that it was ready. And that didn't actually come until about 30 minutes ago. I thought I'd be going to that Rogers store there. Apparently that's not it. It's a bit south of here. Maybe I'll stream after all. Maybe I'll use my new SIM card. I haven't canceled the old ones yet. is Berwick Avenue. I mentioned I do use Bell for my home internet service. That's because they're the only provider that offers fiber to my building. So I get a gigabyte and a half down and a gigabyte up. And that sets me back a cool $50 a month.
Sansatai Ramen has opened up. I'm definitely going to have to give that a try. I'm about in between Eglinton Station and Davisville Station. size cleaners and I'm going to the bell size Rogers store is it possible no that's manor or maybe I walked past it and wasn't paying attention I don't think so serve up some pretty good affordable wings in that St. Louis, although the interior is kind of dated. It's an excellent patio. I get to try this Vietnamese restaurant. There it is. Wait. 
driving. All right, I'm gonna pop in and pick up my stuff and I will check back in and give you an update as to how that went.